Next story on Action News is breaking news. A violent and deadly traffic stop turns into a deadly officer involved shooting in the city's Crescentville section. And tonight, police are crediting witnesses with helping that officer after he was pinned by the suspect's car. We know that that officer first stopped the vehicle on F Street and the Roosevelt Boulevard. The car was stopped at Newtown and Adams Avenues where the officer was hit by the vehicle and then he opened fire. The driver was injured and was found just blocks away behind Benner Street. In this video, you can see a bullet hole in the windshield of the suspected car involved. Right there. Action News reporter Brianna Smith live from the still very active scene tonight where that officer was injured. Brianna. Yes, Rick, Philadelphia police have been out here for hours and they'll remain here overnight investigating. We're standing near where the incident unfolded on Adams and Newtown Avenues. As you can see back here, police say that the police officer was struck by a vehicle pinned against that stone wall and then taken to the hospital in stable condition while the driver was pronounced dead. The Philadelphia Police Commissioner says they're early in their investigation and they gathered information from three witnesses who helped the officer who was by himself. And to see three individuals stand up and each one of them support the officer who was going to be put in a very dangerous situation, uh, we, we greatly appreciate that. Police say the officer was attempting to make a traffic stop at F Street and Roosevelt Boulevard when the driver fled the scene. Then the officer stopped the driver at Adams and Newtown Avenues around 7 p.m. Police say the officer was struck by the vehicle as he approached it, and that's when those three civilians stepped in to help. They observed the officer fire multiple shots into the car. At that same time, they also see a passenger exit that vehicle. Those same civilians and independent witnesses were able to grab that person and detain them. Police say the driver sped off and they discovered the vehicle blocks away near Hasbrook Avenue. Police say the driver was shot in the head and leg and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Meanwhile, the officer, who is an eight year veteran of the department, has leg injuries. We recognize that the work that we do engage in is very dangerous work. That is part of the work that these men and women step up and do every day. And this is an active and ongoing investigation. Police are working to obtain a search warrant to go through that vehicle. They're also reviewing video from this street as well as the officer's body camera footage to de help determine what happened here tonight. Stay with 6ABC for the latest developments. Live in Crescentville, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Rick? All right, Brianna, thank you. And of course, we will continue to follow this breaking news story and bring you the very latest tomorrow.